The scenic views of Acadia National Park are unparalleled with majestic mountains, stunning sunrises and sunsets, fog-blanketed islands, stormy seas, and inspiring night skies. Acadia offers visitors many ways to enjoy the landscape. They can experience the ocean, forests, crystal clear lakes, as well as the magnificent carriage roads and the hiking trails to be able to go for a bike ride or for a hike or to watch for birds. Acadia is filled with these amazing experiences. The historic Park Loop Road and Scudic Loop Road, with their iconic granite coping stones, provide incredible views of the park's landscape and the sea. The views are designed and intentional to make sure that you can see them, whether it's at a pullout along the shore or along a bike ride in the carriage road so that you see the mountains behind a lake. Through all these experiences, visitors can connect to nature, seek adventure, learn, and rejuvenate. There are still opportunities to find solitude within Acadia National Park, even on a busy August day. But with increasing visitation, it's becoming harder to find these opportunities. Crowds of visitors in the summer and increasingly into the fall and spring are making it difficult for people to experience the best of Acadia. Crowded conditions in the park also cause safety hazards. We deal with people who are walking, bicycle use, we also have people or large vehicles slow down to take a look at the scenery. It makes it very challenging to be a first responder responding to an incident. During the park's busiest times, people may not even be able to visit their favorite spot at all. Parking lots at popular attractions, like Sand Beach, often fill to capacity. Full parking lots also affect the local communities that are integral to Acadia as park visitors park along state and town roads seeking to access the park. The same roads that connect the towns and villages of Mount Desert Island connect parklands. Because of this, transportation issues within the park often affect residents as well. For instance, Eagle Lake Road is a main thoroughfare that connects the village of Bar Harbor to the west side of Mount Desert Island. When the Eagle Lake parking lot fills to capacity, Visitors park along the shoulder of Eagle Lake Road, causing safety concerns and impacts to the infrastructure and scenery. People who live near the park love many of the same parts of the park that visitors do. Local residents cherish their access to this national treasure, but road congestion and parking challenges have affected the way neighbors use the park. The park plays a critical role in the state and regional economy, by attracting visitors to the area each year. These visitors rely on local communities for shopping, dining, and places to stay. Acadia National Park has a great positive impact on the local communities. In 2016, visitor spending created a $330 million economic benefit to the area that helped support 4,200 jobs. Increases in visitors to Acadia bring economic benefits, but also stress the park's infrastructure. Increasing pressure on Acadia's transportation network is affecting the way people interact with and benefit from park resources. The purpose of the transportation plan is to look at a variety of alternatives that ultimately will ensure that we provide a really high quality experience for our visitors while preserving the magnificent resources of Acadia National Park. To learn more and provide comments on Acadia's transportation plan, please visit the National Park Service website at http colon forward slash forward slash go dot forward slash Acadia plan.